How are you? Uh, Dante, Magic Man Guides. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie a bucktail. Uh, this is for the novice. I'm not doing anything crazy. Uh, single hair, uh, tone bucktail. Uh, very efficient. Um, I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the bucktails that are more complex, but that's uh, for now just start off single tone pretty quick and easy. Um, going to be using uh, small. This batch is small, quarter ounce, three eighth ounce, one or two half ounce heads. We'll be tying these bucktails for the uh, fluke in the bay, um, stripers, weak fish, uh, on spearing and, and smaller baits. Um, start rigging here. Bobbin, using black now. So I go around. Uh, the lead heads, uh, I normally pour myself. This batch I got from Mike Richardson. Uh, you can find him on Facebook. Um, powder paint and black, I put eyes this time. Don't normally put eyes, but had them, so I put eyes. Do five or six wraps so it stays there. Cut off the tag end, okay? I take my hair. Now, um, I get my hair here on the island of Fisherman's Headquarters. Uh, I believe they're the only shop around here who has it, but you can get it online and other shops if you're not in the area. And right, I cut off a piece. Now, when I'm picking my hair from the shop, some hair is thick, okay? I look for the thin, soft stuff. That's what ties the best, that's what has the best accent. So I grab my hair, I come up top, okay? And I just push it out like that, okay? I get all the excess hair and junk off it. Right, and I got my hair, I line it up, and right about there I'm gonna go, so let's see, there. It's a smaller bucktail. All right, I cut it off here. Okay, so it's just a smooth, I put it on the bucktail, or the, the lead head. One, two, three, four. Go around four times, that's it. Now, if you've noticed, most of the lead heads, okay, they have a barb there. I cut the barb off because if you keep the barb on and you tie, it pushes the hair up and I'm anal, it doesn't look good. So I go around three times, okay? Now, for these, I'm not using a lot of hair, okay? I don't want hair. Uh, just a thin layer. So then I take my finger and I push it around, okay? I put the hair on the top and just go around nice and smooth. Okay, and all I'm doing is, since I only did three wraps, it's not super tight. All right, so I take my head. As you see, it's all the way around, perfectly all the way around, okay, where it covers the whole shank of the hook. I put it back. Okay, hold it there and wrap. All right, one quick layer. Boom, done. Um... Tinsel, whatever they call it, uh, Flashaboo, I think is, is the name. I cut, I take it, I take two strands, threads, cut it. I put this on every bucktail I make. One, two, three, four, five, six, go around a few times, pull it out, boom, cut it, go around five, six times. Pull it out, cut it. I cut it to about the end of the tail, okay? Then I take this, now I'm very anal, so I want every thread to be perfect. Black's easy, you don't see it as much. Okay, go around, it's tied up. Now, how I close off the thread, okay? Uh, there's many multiple ways. You could do it like you're building a rod, and get a loop, no need. Take your two fingers like that, okay? Cross them, you make a loop. You come around with a loop and you pull. Okay, I do it three times, that's it. Nothing crazy, okay? You pull it tight, you cut it, boom. Okay, now, that's what your bucktail looks like.
Perfect. Perfect little small bait, rain bait, bay anchovy. That's what I'm looking for. Um, fluke fishing, weak fishing, bass, you name it. Um, this time of year, you know, in the summer as well. Um, that's what I'm using if I'm on a boat or from the shore. Perfect little bucktail, okay? So that's how you tie them up real quick. I'll show you a couple more complex ones that I've done. Um, here's a just a simple two-tone owner hooks I use. Or I did when I tied my own. Mustad's good. For the bigger ones, I like the Mustad. They actually have a little stronger. But for the smaller ones, I go with the owner Gami. As you can see, it's two-tone, chartreuse, little silver sides, white, twin hair. Um, here's a... Uh, Oh, let me explain this real quick. Depending where you're fishing, the depth and the structure is how much hair you want to put on. Hair is buoyant. It floats in the water, deer tail, okay? So when I'm fishing shallow water with rocks, you want to add a lot of hair. When you go fish up north Montauk, those areas, big bucktails, a um, lot of hair, okay? This is a smiling billhead. You know, I got a lot of hair, pink and white I make for the squid. I use uh, hackle hair. So you have the two little wings, okay? Uh, I actually tie on the shank, if you could see. Uh, my first layer on the shank with the hackle to get it to stick out a little bit. Um, here's another green one I use for bass uh, when I'm going up. Same, same thing, hackle hair on the shank. Um, fishing on a boat. If I do some deep dropping for fluke or or bass if I'm doing a charter, not much, but mainly fluke. Right here, um, that's a five ounce bullet head, you know, thick. Gets it down there. Um, red, almost looks like a sea robin type bait. Couple wings out there, um, done well over the years. Quick, easy green one, five ounce head. I fished this in the canal, I did well with it. Um, I put a rubber on it. Uh, my favorite bucktail that I make, this is called the Dirty Bird. As you can see, it's brown, yellow, and chartreuse. Um, I got some white in there. I layer this bucktail, it's real thick. It's a thick bucktail. I make this when they're eating the mana shrimp in the fall, it just kills it. Um, tie on the shank a few colors, then come back around and I get lower as I change the color. This bucktail I made to be able not to use a plastic. Okay, this is swing in the water and this pulsates when it's just, it's just a phenomenal jig hand. Um, the last tail I'm going to show you, which is a little bit different. Uh, Derek Rice showed me this up in the canal a couple years ago. He had a different head, a nicer head. I don't know where he had him, but this is a, a bullet head. And this is uh, tied to be, I made this to be like a herring. Uh, you could use it probably during the mackerel run as well. It's, uh, it's like a nylon hair. But what happens is, when this cast, since it's light and there's no rubber on it, it sinks way quicker. And it just got action in the water, and it's got the size, and don't need a tail, and it just hammers fish. So that's a, a quick view on bucktails. Um, any questions, obviously, you could reach me. Um, those of you who know me, you can call me. Facebook, Dante Sorienti. Uh, also, Magic Man Guides. Um, on Instagram is Magic Man Guide as well, and my uh, YouTube channel. If you type in my name, it comes up. Um, just how to videos. Just quick, like I said, not tying anything too complex, showing you the simple. Most of the time it works. Just remember, get good hair. Um, depending the depth, is how much hair you want to put on. Like I said, you don't want to put on too much hair if you're fishing uh, deeper water. It doesn't sink as quick, okay? Um, and you want to look presentation, presentation, presentation is key. Um, that's it. Have a good day. And uh, 